Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. If you're new here, I do keyboard stuff. And today I'll be talking about how I upgraded my RKG68 from stock to this. Okay, a few things we need to upgrade this keyboard. A switch puller to remove all of the hot swappable switches. Next thing we need is a screwdriver to remove all of the screws. And of course, we'll be using keycap remover to remove all of the keycaps. I will be placing the stock stabilizers with these genuine cherry plate mounted stabilizers from Click and Clack. I will be adding some foam into the case to dampen the sound. And I'll be switching out the Royal Clutch Reds for these Gatoron Milky Yellows. They are looped with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. Last but not least, I'll be adding a set of monochrome keycaps that I got from Shopee. All of the items in this video will be linked down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. Okay, let's start with the build. First things first, you want to remove the removable case around the keyboard. Second, grab your keycap puller and start removing the keycaps. Sometimes the switches might come out at the same time, just be careful that the switches are bent if you're going to reuse them. Now I'm going to show you guys how to remove the stock stabilizers. First thing of course, you need to remove the keycap. Second thing, grab your switch puller and pull out the switch that is blocking the stabilizers. Next thing you want to do is grab your screwdriver and find the little clip. You can see the clip as are at the top right here for these stabilizers. All you want to do is just push them down and the stabilizer should slide out easily. It's the same for all of the stabilizers. Now you just have to repeat these steps on all of the stabilizers and be more careful on the spacebar because it's bigger. With all of the switches and stabilizers removed, now we can move on to remove the plate from the case. Now as you can see, there are a few screws on the plate that connects to the case. I'll just remove them quickly and remember to put them aside. After removing all of the screws, you can slowly lift up the plate. Make sure not to pull too hard because there's actually wires underneath that you don't want to rip. If you open them up, you can see these two wires connecting one to the battery and one to the PCB. Just remove them carefully like Lego clips. Let's put the plate aside. Now we can see that the case is actually quite hollow so I'll be adding in some foam, packing foam that I got to help with the hollowness. Make sure not to cover the wires when you're doing this, it might interfere with you assembling the keyboard again. With the case foam, now we can move on to the plate.
to remove the PCB from the plate, there are actually four silver screws holding it in place. If you found them, you can just remove them using a screwdriver. With everything disassembled, we can now install the genuine cherry stabilizers onto the plate. It's basically the same method as pulling them out, now you just have to put them in and clip them in place. Make sure that all the stabilizers are fitted good so they won't have any rattle or make any noises. Once we have added the stabilizers, we can now add the pre-cut form in between the plate and the PCB. After putting the form correctly, we can now put on the PCB and screw it into place. Now we can take a look and see if the foam is covering anything and we can put it back into the case. Putting the plate back is really easy, you just have to connect back the connectors for the motherboard and battery. Make sure to be careful so you won't break the clips on them. With all of the wires uh, safely connected, we can now put the plate back onto the case, make sure it fits and then we can start screwing the case in again. You want to make sure that everything fits properly and it's not too tight. If you feel like the case is a little bit tight, you can remove some of the foam inside the case. Now let's turn it on and see if everything still works. Looks fine to me, so now let's move on. Right, with everything done, we can now move on to the fun part that is installing the switches. So I will be replacing the RK Reds with this Gatoron Milky Yellows look with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. I think that for a budget switch, they sound really good and work really really well, especially when they are looped. Alright, with all of the switches installed, we can now move on to the keycaps.
my opinion they really turn out to sound really really good especially with the gate around milky yellows they sound really talky so this is just uh, a few steps or a few things you can do to upgrade your keyboard now all of the mods on this keyboard actually cost quite a lot everything total up is around 670 ringgit but if you're on a budget i would just recommend you to upgrade the switches and the stabilizers to make it sound much better plus you can also add in some form you have lying at home or some bubble wrap into the case to make it sound better but if you are interested in everything that i use in this video again links will be down in the description below and you can purchase them right there so that is it for this video if you like this video you can leave a like if you dislike this video you can dislike it and if you're not subscribed get subscribed and as always thanks for watching goodbye guys